visually impaired persons find much difficulty to cross the roads. Crossing road requires a highly experienced level of skill. The visually impaired person should have achieved the various sub skills of orientation and mobility which are needed. There are many ways of crossing roads. There will be many occasions when the traveler needs to cross the road where there is no identified crossing point. There are few basic points to remember when crossing the road are as follow. Find the down curb with a cane, squaring off at the curb edge. Hold the cane close in it held in front. The cane will be in the road and is in danger of being swept away by the traffic. Clearing the area where the client will take his first step should use his sensory skills, observing the traffic sounds and the movement of vehicle. If there is absolute silence that is a signal the road is free and start crossing the road. If the client is more frightful, he chooses to take the sighted guide help and cross the road. Pelican crossing using traffic lights. Zebra crossing black and white lines. Indented crossing identifying a landmark. Auditory crossing use the traffic sound as clue. Crossing road or street is not easy in the beginning. The teacher should discuss with the client in detail about the traffic flow and other necessary skills. The teacher should use tactile map and clear the doubts. The client should take time to listen the traffic sounds and understand the traffic pattern. In case the client crosses the road alone, he should observe the traffic and where there is absolute silence, then he should take decision to cross the road. While crossing the road must cross straight and should not stop in the middle of the road. The teacher should encourage and practice more to get enough confidence to cross the road. Public transportation usage is very essential to the visually impaired persons. Therefore, they should be encouraged and motivated. But fear is a significant impact and they should be taught effective techniques for utilizing all forms of public transportation. The teacher should aim to eliminate the client's fear of public transport by breaking down each task into logical and clearly defined sequence of simple task. Introducing the concept of travel pattern and practice in the classroom before utilizing the various forms of transportation. Emphasizing the value of using sighted assistance whenever a client become disoriented. Teacher should provide every encouragement and motivation. Planning the route. The visually impaired person should have the knowledge of the bus route, where it is coming from and where it is going. Locating the bus stop. He also should know where is the bus stop and how to get it. 
in case the client finds difficulty in locating the bus stop, he should take the sighted person's assistance. Locating the entry door to the bus. The teacher should describe the physical layout of a bus. The client can understand the entrance and the exit of the bus. The sound of a passenger getting down or the noise of a door opening should also help in locating the entry door, getting on the bus. The visually impaired person should have more practice in climbing the steps of a bus. The hand trail should be located. Once the client located the bus steps, he should position the cane in the left hand, grasp the hand trail on the right hand finding a seat. Many visually impaired person have problem to find out the empty seat. Sometimes passengers help the visually impaired to find a empty seat and also help him to occupy the seat comfortably. He should avoid in seating on the lap of others. He should safely handle the cane. Often people who have difficulty in seeing are afraid to go outdoors by themselves. They sit at home because they do not know how to travel alone. Fear of falling, dashing against obstacles and the vehicles on the roads make them to think of their safety and sit at home. They have to wait for someone to take them to a nearby shop or visit a neighbor's house. They cannot travel by themselves and must rely upon help from their family and friends. Even they mastered the skills of orientation and mobility and they have the ability to move around independently. Still, they require help from the sighted persons from clearing the doubts. While traveling in the bus, or train, the visually impaired person should have to seek the help from the sighted persons to find out their destination or to get the support to get in or get out. Human life is depending on each other in many ways. Helping each other is common in life. Whenever the visually impaired person needs help to sort out a problem, he should seek help from the sighted persons. Do not wait or hesitate to ask help and one should have the courage to establish contacts with the sighted world. When a visually impaired person realizes the need for sighted person's assistance, he should seek help without any hesitation. When the sighted person is within speaking range, the visually impaired person should ask for his assistance in a clear and audible manner. The visually impaired person should be politely and gently to ask the sighted person, would you help me across the road or may I take your harm? Any interaction between the visually impaired person and the sighted person should be friendly. The visually impaired person should ask questions or asking for help in a proper manner. When he received the help from the sighted person and he should convey thanks. An electronic travel aid, ETA, may be defined as a device that sends out signal to sense the environment with the help of a beam of light within a certain range or distance, process the information received and furnishes the relevant bits of information about the immediate environment. 
electronic travel aids provide a degree of sensory insight into the environment. The electronic device is primarily based on ultrasonic technology with which orientation and mobility training can be simple. Electronic travel aids are mechanically reliable, easy to handle, simple to operate and it fulfills the candidate's information requirements. The visually impaired might feel more secure, comfortable while in travel. Electronic travel aids reduce the candidate's stress and confusion and it boosts the confidence level. It encourages independency in travel and reduce the dependency. Disadvantages of the electronic travel aids. Availability of electronic travel aids is not easy for the needed people. There are not many users of these aids all over the world. Cost of these Electronic travel aids is more and ordinary visually impaired persons may find it very difficult to get it. Moreover, these electronic travel aids are having problems with adverse weather conditions. Problems of repair, replacing parts and battery recharging. MOVAT sensor, the single object sensor, the MIMS infrared mobility aid, the C5 obstacle detector, Lindsay Russell path sounder, Nottingham obstacle detector, the torch, the sonic guide, the C5 laser cane, the path sounder. function. It runs by a battery of 9 volt. It emits high frequency ultrasound to detect objects in its path. It is silent in object free space. In simple language, higher the vibration rate, closer the user is to the object. Advantage. Mowat sonar sensor has both audible and vibratory output which is very helpful in smooth and independent mobility of not only visually impaired but also deaf blind persons. It is portable and can be easily carried in a pocket when not in use. Disadvantage, highly expensive, not available in developing nations. It does not work in adverse weather conditions. A head mounted electronic aid. It contains of spectacle and a control box function. A tiny ultrasonic transmitter and receiver which fixed in a pair of spectacles and a control box. It receives environmental information and passes it to the user as an auditory output. Advantage. The single object sensor has the capability of sensing the environment with a very simple display. The user can easily identify the edite objects. Disadvantage. The single object sensor does not provide information about the down path or very low objects in the travel path. It does not function in adverse weather condition. function. It consists of two narrow cylinders attached to temples of the conventional eye glass frame fitted with batteries and power switches. When an object is illuminated by the 
infrared transmitter enters the field of view of a receiver, a signal tone is conveyed to the one of the user's ears through a thin plastic tube. Advantage Operating system is simple and easy. It helps for independent mobility. Disadvantage It cannot be used without a long cane or a guide dog. Deaf blind cannot be used because of no auditory output. Function It emits light to identify the object. It detects the obstacle in tactile output. It has three ranges 5 feet, 10 feet, and 35 feet. Advantage Handheld in nature, comfortable to handle. It detects the obstacle from a long range. Disadvantage It is not practical as a travel device in the absence of long cane or guide dog. It does not detect stairs down. It does not provide free hand walk. Function It emits ultrasonic waves. It detects obstacle at a distance of 6 feet from the traveler's chest. It produces both auditory and vibration. If there is no obstacle, the device will not play any sound or signal. It increases the sound when the obstacle approaches nearer. Advantage It is easy to operate. 20 to 40 hours of training to achieve an acceptable level of competence. It protects upper body. It can be operated in a noisy environment by setting full volume. Disadvantage It is not waterproof. If it is exposed to rain, batteries lose strength. This is supplement to the long cane, chest mounted. Handheld ultrasonic device. It is useful in certain specific situation. Function. It transmits high frequency sound. It has eight auditory output musical notes. It is silent when no object within the range. If there are more objects in the range, then it will detect the nearest object. It has on off control. Minimum detection range 7 feet. Disadvantage This is an additional aid to long cane and guide dog. It is handheld device. It has only auditory input. Learning is confusing because of musical notes. The torch. Function the device emits ultrasonic beams through its transmitter and collects environmental information. Receiver inform the user with the help of earpiece which connected to the torch. It has two range, one short range 7 feet 2 inches and long range 20 feet. Advantage, easy to operate simple to handle and reliable in using. One of the best supplement of long cane and guide dog. Disadvantage It is handheld which does not provide support and safety. It totally unsuccessful. Function It transmit electronical signal to the environment. Information will be heard equally by both the ears. Maximum range is 20 feet. Advantage User can get the information from three sides. It can estimate the distance and direction. It gives protection from head to knee level. Disadvantage Does not offer protection from drop off 
function of the device varies in adverse weather, not useful for deaf blind. This aid can only use with guide dog and long cane. This aid is available in Canada, US and Brazil. It is not available in India. It is a long cane available in different lengths function. It has three channels forward, up and down. Forward channel has both tactile and auditory signals. Up and down signals heard simultaneously. Range is 6 feet. Advantage. It gives self confidence moving with grace and without tension. It has both tactile and auditory signals. Object can be located with high degree of accuracy, easy carrying and storage. Even if the electronic elements do not work, still it can be used as a long cane. Disadvantage. It is difficult in training the user because of its complexity. It is heavy and the user cannot carry it for long time. It is not available in India. Function. It is battery operated. It has two units, headset and control box. It vibrates and audible. The range is 6 feet. Advantage. It is highly sensible. It detects low and close objects. Disadvantage. It will not function in adverse weather conditions. It is costly and not available in India. Electronic travel aids are boon to the visually impaired persons for their independent mobility. And it creates self-confidence in spite of non-availability, high cost technical shortcomings and difficult in mechanical problems. These ETAs provide sense of freedom, protection from obstacles and getting information about the immediate environment. Most of the electronic travel aids are not available in India. Therefore, the use of the device in training program totally nil. Due to high cost, many of the organizations are not shown any interest in getting them for use in orientation and mobility training. Using trained guide dogs for the mobility is popular in America, Europe, South Africa and Australia. This technique has not been adapted in the developing countries due to the following reasons. Lack of training facilities for training the guide dogs. Maintaining the high breed guide dogs is very costly. It is very difficult to manage in crowded place. Risk from stray dogs. In Indian condition, guide dogs cannot be taken anywhere, temples, public places, markets and house of others. It must be realized that the guide dog is mere animal and it cannot be expected to perform miracles. The guide dog gives good company to the user. In western countries, mostly the elderly visually impaired persons are using the guide dog for their mobility. In India, a few visually impaired persons have brought the guide dogs, but they found it very difficult to maintain the guide dogs. Indian weather condition is not suitable to such high breed dogs. Presently, it is not suitable in India. Dear students, we have discussed about the long cane travel in outdoor environments especially the road crossing and how to utilize the cane.
techniques. We also discussed about electronic equipments in orientation and mobility and uses. We also discussed about the guide dog to the visually handicapped persons. So, now we discussed thoroughly about orientation and mobility and it is useful to the visually handicapped persons. Thank you. Thank you.